Next week starts the last lap, what we hope will be the last lap, in finally bringing comprehensive health care reform and insurance reform to this country once and for all. That's our goal. And we want to send our congressional delegation to Washington with a big push. We have, in this country, we are amazing. The richest country in the world, one of the only industrialized countries in the world that does not provide health care to all of its citizens. 47 million Americans go to bed every night without health insurance, without health coverage. Seven million of them live in California. Two and a half million of them live right here in Los Angeles County. The odds are that the person who does your gardening, who cleans the buildings you work in, People who work for small business, many small businesses, don't have health care coverage, don't have health insurance, and if they should get sick, if they should have an emergency that requires radical surgery, they, have, they, they will bankrupt themselves trying to stay alive, almost as though it's not even worth staying alive for what they'll have to go through the rest of their lives trying to pay off that obligation. It is ridiculous that a country this rich could leave 47 million of its citizens hanging like that. Let's get it done. Let's get it done now. Let's get it done this year, before the end of this year. And every man, woman, and child in this country will have health care as a right and not as a privilege. We had, a hundred years or so, or more ago, this country came to the mountain on the issue of education. Every child was entitled by law, by right, to a K-12 through education. We came to the mountain on the issue of every citizen has a right, after they're 18 years old, to vote. Every citizen has a right to vote. We have never come to the mountain on the issue of every citizen having a right to health care. And yet it is as much a civil right and as much a human right as education as education and all the other civil rights that we have fought for. Without health care, we are not equal. Without health care for every man, woman, and child, we are not equal. A child who goes to school without health insurance, without, without being healthy, is at a competitive disadvantage with a kid sitting next to him who does come to school healthy. A kid who can't see the blackboard is at a disadvantage compared to the kid who can see the blackboard. These are fundamental human and civil rights. We're not just fighting about hospitals and clinics and health care. We're fighting about human decency, human rights. Every citizen of this country, frankly every citizen of the world, should not have to go to bed at night wondering if they get sick how will they cope? So I'm here tonight to stand with you, to urge our congressional delegation, our senators, our congressmen, and those all across the country to get it done now. This is our chance. This is our moment. Let's seize the moment and bring health care to every man, woman, and child in America.